you know what gets on my nerves? When people in your past, when I think about stuff like that, when people in your past, they had you. Like, you couldn't, you had her before me and you couldn't even keep her? You slow as hell. Just die. Just fucking die. <laughs> Baby, she's doing her makeup. I'm gonna take her to work. Hey, um. Per the usual. Um, but we started talking about uh, relationship stuff because we always, you know, like I said, we always in the car talking about stuff. But I asked her, What have I done that's different from her last relationship? If y'all looked at our past relationships in general, past in general but you know, um, if you look at how we met. I guess I, I don't remember. I think we went into what we no, previously we, came from. We were from. supposed to do, do a part a, two. Do a part two with receipts because yeah, she still got all the receipts. People be trying to say stuff they don't even know. So <laughs> yeah. Told her that, and we have another video following up this pretty right. soon. This week we're gonna drop. Um, but basically telling her how she, she wants to know. Basic. She wants to know. What uh, she's done differently, like than like any, I guess, with other loving her other relationships. Um, it's been a lot of things. I feel um, when I first met you, you were straight up with me. You told me exactly what you wanted. You told me what your expectations were. And I think that's important. Like a lot of people don't say what their expectations are when they meet somebody and they're like, "Oh, I see a future with this person." Yeah. Like people will hide their expectations to try to keep the person, but in the end, you're gonna end up being miserable because your expectations weren't what that person brought to the table. So she was very straightforward with me. She was like, hey, I like you. A matter of fact, I love you. <laughs> yes, yes, love, within three fucking days. Um, and she's not gonna just tell me, but she's gonna show me, and she showed me that too. She, when I tell y'all she was so honest with me, she told me everything she was bringing to the table. Um, and you know, I know like money don't mean everything, but like when you come from like a background where you're always the person like that's providing, providing, and you believe in like roles in a relationship, that shit, that shit fucking sucks. You know what I mean? Like, you let me know, like, hey, I'm a provider. Like, I don't, y'all just don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, when I, when we met, yes, I told her I loved her in three days. But like like she said, when you come from crap and you've checked out and you're trying to work on yourself and, and people aren't getting, and the thing is there's a billion people, X, Y, Z, a billion people in this world. If you with someone and they're not doing anything that's making you happy on your knees, there's somebody out here that will. And, and, and right, that, don't settle. Do not don't settle. settle. You and that's what we both done. You will waste so many years. Like, you will waste so much time. Just, you know. Spinning your circles. Because we always talk about, like, the fact that we wish that we met each other sooner. You know what I mean? But I always tell her it's a reason. Because maybe the person that she was back then wasn't the person that, you know, that I'm supposed to have. You know what I mean? And so, vice versa. Because, like, She's not the same person and neither am I. And nope. in, the, in the last relationship I was in, like, I feel like I was more, I don't know. You're I still, feel like. You're still living, being young, weren't you? Well, yeah, I was being young, but I felt like I couldn't really express myself 100% because uh, of how the person yeah. would feel. You know what I mean? Like, and you know, when you I were did, young and I insecure. I my life for that, for the other person. And, and I, I tell her, don't And I don't that think shit. you should do that. You know what I mean? Like, I, I know who she is as a person. She knows who I am as a person. We don't try to dim each other down. Like, we try to just li uplift each other, you know? And, like, going back to when I first met her, like I said, like, she told me exactly what she wanted. She courted me. But the thing is, I had to move different different as well. Like, I felt like I didn't want to be physical with her right away because I'm like, okay, I really, really like her, and I didn't want sex to cloud the judgment, you know what I mean? So, like, I waited. We actually dated. We got to know each other, and... But to be honest, we loved each other from day one. Like I've yeah. never felt, I've just never felt anything like that. Like it was just yeah. crazy when I met her. And she was like, uh, one of the things I said after her was when we were, when we met each other, we were at like a, this day party. It was so hot. It was a rooftop party. And she was like, I was wiping her sweat. Yeah. And she was like, just because she said, I just met this girl. She's like, literally just taking care of me. Wiping, like I, I was taking care of her. And I didn't even realize I was. It was just like a. It was just a gesture, like a, a nice. I don't know. It, it might be small to y'all, but when you've been through something.
certain things and when you're around when you deal with certain people and their spirits are like not good yeah like you know good energy you know good spirit and like she, that's what she had i um tell her all the time that you know what who we were before each other getting preparing people even people that we dealt with it was preparing us for each other i i'm very straightforward as, as she tell you like i will let you know my intention straight up i'm not gonna i'm gonna tell you hey i'm looking for a wife hey i want to have kids hey i want to buy a house up i'm starting my business what is your 10-year plan and everybody isn't on that same route a lot of people be like oh i just want to go with the flow i don't know then ma'am you are not the person for me because i can't move and i don't know so but when i told her what was up she was like me too same goals and same the goals is, and, the, and the thing is you have to you have to make sure the person isn't just telling you what they want to what you want to hear actions because the thing is she i saw what she was doing before she met me you know what i mean like mm -hmm. she saw what i was doing before she met me so it's just like you know we were definitely on the same path and that helped a lot because i told her because like baby has a really really good heart and she had to teach me to not be so nice I'm yeah not i'm not saying that. i don't have a, a good heart but she i have a really things. yeah i i, I have a this people. this dark discerning discerning spirit that i'm blessed with sometimes it's a curse because like when people other people give a person a chance i am more hesitant i give chances and she yeah, I give chance. I get more chances than should be given. Like and she I, had to teach me. And I tell her, I say, you're not Jesus. Where in the handbook of friendship and courting does it say you're supposed to give people multiple chances after they shit on you? Nowhere. Even where you're dating, like people confuse uh, attachment with love. Like just like you attach to a person doesn't mean you love them. Doesn't mean you have to go through stuff like that's insanity. And I and I had to tell her that. I said, babe, love doesn't hurt. I'm not gonna ever hurt you and uh, and um doing things you shouldn't accept certain things like i always i joke around but it'd be a lot of serious stuff when i tell her i said if i was to die tomorrow and you decide to move on please don't ever get with anybody that that doesn't have your best interest and if they do one wrong thing that they shouldn't have done even dating cut that ass off falling in love with them and stuff like that you deserve so much better and it's, it's like i tell her like her standards have risen it's like it's certain things like y'all yeah, it's except that i used to accept yeah she's a step a lot of stuff like baby why are you doing this just to say you know and she was like well you know if we all have to go through stuff to grow through stuff so um i had to show her i said look i can show you better than i tell you all these people that you were talking yeah. to or something like that was saying oh we're gonna do this when now we we going to do it tomorrow like that's don't like i was waiting on action and you like, was waiting I mean, on so many yeah. people like people she was talking to people that that you know she was spending time time with no action behind shit for years and this was right before we met and i'm like baby you don't have to stick around people like i have a really good woman like i claim her like day one like nobody's gonna put claim on you nobody no like i'm claiming you because you deserve to be shouted to the world that somebody loves you like and that's facts like and I'm being honest, like I, I yes, I swooped in and I and I got her because and it's been I and I told her I would be the same when I'm 68 and above. I have not changed. Have I changed anything? No. And I had to teach her how to be more soft as well because she, you know, she she, she is very like cutthroat, like this, this, and this. Not with me, like she, she treats yeah, me not like with her. me, not like me, not with me, but just with other people. Like I just try to like say, hey, you know, I understand you. She doesn't give people the benefit of, benefit of the doubt. So. I, I give a small amount. Like, Very small. Like, like, you know, like, benefit of the doubt, like, if you start a new job and you leave your purse in the back with everybody else's, that you hope nobody's not going to steal nothing at your purse. That's that benefit of the doubt when I'm meeting people. And which I think that should, but giving benefit of the doubt, saying, hey, I'm going to ride with this stranger I just met, and hopefully they don't kidnap me. No, babe, come on, that's the extreme. That's, and that's the thing, like, there's no happy medium. We're in Atlanta, home of human trafficking. I'm not going <laughs> to trust nobody off a... Uh, off Instagram, a data app, I don't know you. You can yeah. literally be in a ring. So just letting you people, just letting everybody know, like, you know, even when, like, when we are, like, you know, I'm getting her out of her comfort zone. Like, we're reaching out. Like, we're meeting up with, like, yeah, we, couples. Yeah. And we're, you know, we're doing certain things that, you know, like, she wouldn't normally do. But I am a people person. Like, I'm I am too. You know she, I am. She's a people person as well. But I'm I'm extrovert 100%. She is 50-50. So... <laughs> Like, um, just with us, you know, like when we start, like, 
linking up with new people, you know what I mean? Like she's you you'll see like her personality is very big and it's and, and like and I love it so much. And she is She's somebody that you're gonna to gravitate to, you know what I mean? But like just know, like just because she's gravitating towards you, that doesn't mean that trust is there. Like, yeah, you know, I mean, she's yeah. you know, she's deaf like I mean, but she is very sweet, she is loving, <laughs> you know. I be wondering about myself sometimes, I'm gonna even lie. That's just so sweet to me. Like when I like I'm not gonna lie to you, like when it comes to me, she is very protective. Yeah. And that's just what it is. Like, cause I, I never had that before, you know, and And it's not an insecurity. Uh, no, protective. No, no. Like, not the thing is, I told I her, love that. Like, she, she used to tell me a lot of stuff. Like, in her past, people wouldn't be all up on her only till somebody came around. Her in the car, at home, <laughs> at her mama house. It doesn't matter where I'm at. I'm not insecure to the fact of, oh, I see another masculine woman because I know my wife's type. Like, I'm not going to be insecure just because somebody walk around, let me grab her hand. I, I walked in with her, my hand on her ass, and probably talking her down. This is because I love her, and it's not nothing being extra. Am I, but do I not do it? You do, like, since day one. Y'all, when I met her, like, she kissed me within, like. Y'all, we was in this rooftop party, right? <laughs> and, um, of course, y'all know I'm a personal trainer, so it was a personal trainer rooftop party. And she was initially coming uh, to support our, one of our mutual uh, friends. Um, and. I was going, I was done with my situation. She wasn't in a situation. So we just got to rapping. And like she said, you gravitate towards me. And, and during the day party, I saw nobody but her. And I told her everything, what it was. I told her, hey, I'm not, I'm not a flashy person. Y'all, it was, it's just, the place was packed. Okay? And we was having our own, but we it our own world. Like we were the only people in there. And then she like, literally, she kissed me in front of everybody. Like, right, like, just out of nowhere, just. Jess was like, whatever, like she she, she joke around. She claimed me like right. Go ahead, like what I said. She claimed me talking about you kiss me like a dog pissing on a uh hydrant trying to claim his territory. <laughs> I was like, no, but the thing is, beautiful women sometimes and like I don't I haven't came across a lot of beautiful women that really want to talk to me because I am intimidated. I've been told that. But the thing is, you got to come with your shit together. I'm not one of these studs who just settle just for some pussy. And let's no. be clear, I had my shit together. I had my own everything. Yeah. And so it wasn't like a, oh, I need her or whatever. No, it was like I wanted her. And she didn't need me. She wanted me. And I would tell and she her. she showed me that. Like, she showed me that. She let every, she literally let everybody know. And it was somebody that, in particular, that was there. Trying to talk to her, as to usual. And, and I told them, move the fuck out the way. She did. Literally was like, move. I'm sitting right here next to her. And the person moved. They legit moved. I was like, oh, right, that right there, the confidence, like the, her confidence and the way that she dominated shit, I was like, oh, yeah, like. But I'm not a bully. Like, no, like no, I, I was a, the person was trying to be slick. And when I got up to network, and I told her, and from day one, I, I talked to her as if she was my girlfriend at the time. She hey, did. I'm getting ready to go up and network. I'll be back. The people, I come back, the person who scoot next to her, again, she's not my girl, the scooter next to her, like, I want coming back. No, no, little buddy, get your ass up and move around. Uh, That's my spot. Guess what? Everybody shifted and moved, moved to the right. You're not finna do in that. Whole section. <laughs> and granted now, I'm, I'm, these people, and I joke around, these people couldn't do nothing with my wife. Like, I'm 5'9", 178, I, and y'all, everybody know I work out. I know my wife's tight. Now I know her tight. Yes, she might have settled in the past for a little Michelin's, but she, I'm her tight. So she moves different. She moves different. So I, yes, I, I kissed her because she told me she's single, and she, but she's dating. She told me, okay, cool. Okay, if you're single and dating, then kiss me. I want to know if any, and, and then she, the thing is, people she was dating, their family and best friends was there too. So I know reports was going live. Back in the day, was it not? Yes. Because she was off the market. She out the market now. And I'm not from here. I'm not one of these. I'm not I'm not out on the scene. I'm not none of that. So, of course, when I come in, everybody's going to always look because babies be on the scene. Everybody's going to look like, who is who is Breon with? Stop. Yeah. I, I want to put your, uh, your old name out there. All right. <laughs> I ain't want to put a stripper name out there. Uh-uh, we not. I was not a stripper. She I, not, she I didn't have a lot of stripper friends. You know, I love y'all strippers. You know, she had hella stripper friends. I love y'all. I know who I am. I know what I bring to the table. And I told babe, hey, this is what I bring. Women are intimidated by that, especially sometimes when their shit not together. And sometimes women have that nurturing thing where they want to build build other build a bear and baby had a lot of build a bear studs but she felt she has that nurturing spirit be like oh they're trying i'm gonna stick by them until they make it those people still in the same spot i told her i said babe that people you can't help everybody and i told her i said listen 
This is what you want to do. We're going to make this happen. And that's what I did. This is what I do. This is what I bring to the table. If you need help with anything, I got you. I'm not a flashy person. I'm not walking around seeing all the money I got. Y'all, when I None tell y'all, I didn't even like, mind you, like, you know, I've always lived in the city or whatever. And so everybody know you live in the city, it's not cheap, you know. So like I don't live on the outskirts of Atlanta. I actually lived in the city. I lived city, y'all. So, um, yeah, so I was living in Midtown and she was like, um, she was like, don't worry about your don't worry about your rent this month. I got it. I was like, wait a minute, what? Like, I ain't never done this. It was so random, y'all, and I didn't need like I didn't ask her for anything. I didn't need it. You know, she was just like really showing me like uh, I'm a provider. Like this is. I was like, what the fuck? Let me tell y'all something. If y'all look at my last video, I always say, dude, don't do shit. Don't do permanent shit for temporary people. Clearly, I knew she was not temporary because I do not like even when I was dating. She said we go Dutch. Girls didn't do it. She said she didn't pay no pay. No, for, for what? Bitch, so no, because I already knew you was coming for a come up. Like literally, like. I used to tell her horror stories. Like people, it's nothing wrong with people having kids and stuff, but I, that wasn't what I was looking for. I wanted to start fresh with someone. I don't want to come in and have to be disciplined. Little Timmy, little Timmy, 13, 14 years old. Anybody got time for that shit? That's no, like, no, that wasn't my thing. And people will lie. And I've, I've had people in my past be like, oh my God, I can be a dependent, put my kids on your stuff. Bitch, what? Turn off. Like, and you, and I, it's, it was multiple stuff. Oh, you in the army? Yep. Oh, you this, you HR man. Yep. This what you drive? Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, it's like just, it bitch. was terrible. Y'all, Atlanta like, is trash. She was like, oh, I believe in education. You know, I got my master's. I started my doctorate. I was like, hmm. So you trying to tell me I can be a doctor's wife? Yeah. No, y'all don't. <laughs> but, yeah. No, but I'm being for real. Yeah. Like, that's literally what it was. So, you know, she yeah. got her master's. She, she was, you know, she was just telling me everything that she brings to the table. If you're going to go, know, and I, and that we say all this because, like, you have to bring. You have I to know settling. yourself. I just felt like I was settling. I'm not saying that everybody gotta like come with that, but I'm just saying if you have certain expectations, like you should deserve. You you should you know just, what you deserve. Yeah, know your worth and know what you deserve. You know what I mean? Like even if she didn't have all of those things, I feel like the way that she was coming at me, the way she was treating me from day one, like showed me, hey, this is what it is. Like I will be provided. I'll be a protector. I felt like in so many relationships, I felt like. I was like everything. I was the provider. I was the She's protector. There, yeah. I was the, you know, just everything. Yeah. Like, I mean, I just felt like, damn, like you would just get tired of that. Can we get 50 50? Like, something. I, like and I've always been like this, but I was never appreciated. Like, got played. Like, it's like, I, I've. I know what that feels like to be everything and at the same time get baby know what it means too Do to get know, played. Yes, to be in a situation where everybody in the room knows that Except for you. That you're we cheating was, on you and you the only one that don't fucking know. Me. And, I was in the units. And then <laughs> cheating with somebody that's supposed to be your friend. Like that shit is crazy as hell to me. Cheating on that's, somebody that's, that's not the same and job. That's the reason why like I don't trust <laughs> I don't like the trust was like just not there for me. And like but when I met her like all it, it was like trust from day one yeah i told her I, I told her i gave her my information i was like listen i know you got trust issues baby i do too this is what it is don't and i told her i said one thing i can't stand a person that doesn't tell me the whole thing i'm a very inquisitive person i i i just tell her that like because i would hate like i with her i i trust her a hundred percent and I tell her time, hey, be upfront with me, honest from the jump, because once I lose trust, I can't speak to nobody else. I don't give second chances. That ain't, I ain't Jesus. No, like he's still working on me. But the thing is, like I say, it's always someone who's gonna love you the way you wanna be treated. If you ask, hey, I like this in a relationship. I like to be, I don't like to be ignored. I like to um, go on random dates. I like to be adventurous. I like to travel. How about, if I like I like small things. If you don't like really understand the way that you wanna be loved, like the thing- You need to be by you yourself. Need, or you need to take a love language test. So therefore, yep. you, you know what to tell the person. Like, this is how I wanna be loved. This is how I wanna be treated. Somebody cannot love you the way they want to be loved no they have to love you the way you, you want, want to be loved love. like, that's the that's the thing people like she said people think that you go on these relationships and you know what you got to go through growing pains because when you young and don't know right. yourself you you gonna you gonna make mistakes yeah. and try to and you, that, right go ahead, go ahead baby go no, ahead no, no, but you ahead. cannot and that's and we all we we, we both probably made that same mistake mm -hmm. like oh we're trying to force somebody to 
to love us the way we need to be loved and they was incapable of doing that but the thing is it's not even their fault it's the fact that you didn't set those expectations From number day one. one so it's like you know so you can't even blame other people like, a lot of times and i had to, and i had to like tell myself i can't even blame nobody in my past i gotta blame myself because it was my decision to you know let them do that you yep. know what i mean it's and like, yep. it's, it's like a bad crazy. kid like a bad kid or a dog if you don't correct the situation right then and it and and then you do it afterwards and not gonna get it you right. got you gotta be like hey babe i don't like that can we not do that again right because if we do it again this is the consequences of what might happen i might not be here because right. i don't like how that makes me feel if the person and this is how you tell a person really loves you if they don't correct the action or tr or even try and it continue and they continue or it, they might go good for a couple months and then what the fuck what are you doing and then it comes back again that person ain't for you they don't love uh -oh. you and they're selfish all i got to say on that but it's like i just feel like if you are the type of person that like has a certain love language and that person is like the person that you're with isn't willing to do those things for you don't yep. settle you need to be like next <laughs> i tell her all the and, and another thing like you guys gotta um and this is just one stuff we've been through because she was in a way longer relationship than i was i've been in several about the half of the time mm -hmm. so her one i had like two or three and yeah. because the difference is she really gave chances i gave the initial chance and i was out like and i'm being honest like and it's and it's a always a two-way street but some stuff i don't i don't tolerate i don't tolerate cheating i don't tolerate lying i don't tolerate sneakiness and if you do it by the time i catch it the reason and the reason why some of that my relations went longer because i didn't catch it right off that year one or year two and i'm being honest but the moment i caught it gone like i, I know my worth realize if you look at my re recent video of my coming out story i learned my worth from the stuff I went through with my own family. Being honest, I, you have to you have to teach yourself, you go through stuff, you have to teach yourself what you're gonna tolerate, and I don't tolerate bullshit. So my situation was a little bit different because like, um, I feel like because I'm a twin, I literally, I came into this world with somebody and I feel like, and me and my sister, we are very close, you know what I mean? So it's almost like I had to, not being afraid to be by myself, but I kind of was, you know? And then when I left the situation I was in, I, had to learn how to be by myself. So I was like, well, let me start dating. Cause now at this point, I don't know who I am without that person because it completely took. Consumed you. Yeah, it did. And yeah. I had to learn who I was all over again. I had to date. I started dating around because I needed to learn what I liked and what I was going to accept. And you know, and I still had those. I think that's why I kind of held on to people a little longer than what I should have because it was the whole being alone factor, mm. you know? Okay. And it's, it was just different. And when I met her, I was already on my self-love journey. I was already like, okay, I'm good with being by myself. I'm even good with, like, starting a family by myself. Like, you know Yeah, I mean? she like, was. She told me. And I told her, I said she didn't have to do that. Because I was, I, was, I was ready and willing because I was in a position mm -hmm. and still in a position for us to start a family. And I think that threw her off because I've, 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 she's told people that she was, you know, close to hanging around dating. Hey, let's have kids. And it, it kind of... They never went through it because they could they weren't finna, you know. No, what I'm it wasn't even that. It was like even when I mentioned it, I feel like they were because they liked me so much. They was just like, oh yeah, 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 you know. But no action behind it. But it was <laughs> not like, and the thing is that the thing is, I wasn't like I want to have a baby with them. I wasn't saying that. What I was telling them was that I'm about to start this journey, this baby journey, January. You know, so it's like this. This was like the whole. I was like, I'm taking a year, you know. But just know in January, like I'm gonna start like you know this process of having a baby like that's just what it is started two, two months so, on it. <laughs> right November. <laughs> so, <laughs> but um yeah i just feel like it's all about expectations like you need to make it known you can't just be like oh nobody can guess what's on your mind do suggest people taking that love language test and this is the thing is what really like told her that i don't like but i'm not materialistic at all y'all know like one of the love languages is like receiving gifts or something like that I got a one. That was my score. Oh, uh, yeah. She got a one. Me, um, her top one was quality time. Mm -hmm. um, I had, you had quality time and some acts of service. Y'all, if I make up the bed. 
Yo, I didn't even know this was one of my love languages. Like, that's the thing. I didn't even know. Like, I, came, I came, I went to work or whatever. She was off. So, like, she, like, say, this is before we, like, lived together. She was at my house, and I just left her there. And I came back home, and, like, she made the bed. She, like, cleaned the kitchen and stuff. And I was, like, so happy. I was, like, like oh, I wanted to jump all over her. And I was, like, what the fuck is wrong with me? But when I took the, like, I remember my love language was as a service. Oh, like, what and the hell? It was, it's, you know, it's weird. Like, you don't even know. Take the test. Y'all need to take that test. And so once we took it, you you have a better it's understanding. Quality time too. Yeah, mine's quality time. I do like gifts, but at the same time, she know I don't ever force her ever. I really don't ever ask for nothing. I might ask for something, but she know I just go and get it. And it, and and that's just that's just how. But that wasn't your top baby. It was her. Two, that was like number three. That was probably three. Yeah, but the the first one was both of us was quality time. The show one access. And then the second it wasn't extra, but the second one was physical touch. Yes, access. Right. I mean, uh, quality time and physical touch. Yeah, they were like equal. I they cannot. Were, yeah, so if she was like a person that didn't want to be touched and stuff, we would never work. Right, but never. that's the thing, and I think that's why when she first met me that day, she. I think that was a test. Her being all up on me and see how I would react, and I was okay with. I was super okay because that was like a high on my list too. But yeah, you know? I want to see if she gonna love me in public or care for me in public, not just behind closed doors, because that's happened too. Like we both have been through so much similar right. stuff. But it's just, I'm like I said, I'm more harsh with shit. Like I. That's so when people like see us all on each other, it's like real. That's it's not real. It's real life. <laughs> because she like physical touch. I like yeah, your physical touch was one of yours too. Yeah, it was. It was. Um, but the no, the one in the top top. Number three was physical touch, but number one was the quality, quality time, time access service, service, and then physical, it was physical touch, and then gifts was on the bottom, and it was score of one. Yeah. So, but she know that I like to if I get her something, I always think about her. Because she guess does. what? And which kind of goes into, um, I guess one. Of, I guess like it kind of goes into one of your top ones because you being thought about yeah. and stuff like that. And like necessarily, she she it's not like she's ever ungrateful or nothing like that. And she uses I don't ever buy unnecessary stuff. But right. if I get something, she listens to me because like when she'll be out or whatever. And then like yesterday, y'all, she surprised me with this big old bag of Sephora stuff. <sighs> And like she was listening to me, like I was like, I'm out of this, I'm out of this, I'm out of this, like whatever. But like I'm talking to myself. Like when I was yeah. doing my uh, makeup thing, that's why I couldn't really do much. She messed up was, one of her good. I was palettes. out of a lot of stuff, you know. And so y'all, do you know she went on a damn spree at Sephora and bought me stuff? Hey. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> she was like, how much it costs? You need to put that back. I don't need that. And then she was like, yeah, I am very. What's the, what is it? Frugal. What is it when you like you, you frugal on certain things not when it come to your hair and stuff right but yeah everything I, else she could care less and i'd be like i'm not we can't, at all y'all like I, i'm not either i just she know I, she know how i feel about I'm my not shoes a girl that likes jewelry i'm not like i'm some different like i'm a different i'm a different type of chick like so that's just what it is we don't we're not frugal on food <laughs> no y'all we just wanted it's to all the time. yes we, we y'all might catch another vlog at that this evening quick and just tell you about our love languages about not settling about mm -hmm. you know if you're going through a series of bad relationships sometimes and 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 attracting bad like people that you like damn like here i got this person now this person like you kind of gotta look inside yourself are you attracting desperation are you attracting um people that they know probably good on damn well they're out of your they are you are out of the league but you accept that and so now again you are going back in that same cycle of trying to uh mother and nurture someone yeah, they're probably using you so they can get back on their feet and yep. they're gonna be out the door because you're really not what they want like it's just every like, time and i and i don't and be afraid to ask those questions i feel like people are afraid to ask yes that's what i was gonna mean first meet somebody. Ask, ask people about their to, financial status not even just be a financial ask status. where you live in do you have a car? Like, I I don't care what nobody right. say. That's not being materialistic. That's making sure you're not going to be used. And exactly. it's not going to be. And it's like, hey, what do you normally do? If you see people always, oh, I always work and stuff. They never go out. Guess what? And then now you have to force this person to go out. And that's now it you want your pocket. It could be two things. It could be either like they really don't have it like that. Or it could be that they're trying to save for something bigger. Now, if somebody is telling you they're saving, that shows that, that, shows that they are mature enough to 
not want to go out and they're able to be like, hey, I can save my money and they're working towards something. That's actually a good quality. But, but you got to ask those questions. But ask them where's the time, where's the deadline and how much right, are they saving? Yes, exactly. What's the deadline? Because and what are you saving there for? There's a deadline. There's a deadline. <laughs> and guess what? I ain't built here to be waiting. See that that right there shows y'all. You see how she went immediately went to oh, that person. Not, but I was just like, hey, there you can you gotta. Yeah, but it's no. But sometimes we all have different deadlines. This person, you might not be, this person might be in this point of life. I'm trying to save to get a car or get a home and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And you at this point of life, well, I have all that. This person, I, I, they're going to push push me back. I really feel like they're going to push you backwards. So say breaks. What if you, but what no, if you no, already got your shit people, together and you trying to travel? They can't travel. Now you got to pay no, for no, the travel expenses. Uh, which I understand that what I'm saying is, okay, so say for example, like, you know, I'm, this is hypothetically speaking because this is not what happened. So say for example, like, you know, you met me or whatever. I had my, I had my shit together or whatever. And then I fell on hard times. Like, you know, I fell on hard times. And then like now I'm trying to get myself out of that. But yeah, you still have your shit together. You are going to, because you love me, you're going to let me move in. But you need to make sure you, we have a plan. You see how you said when I met you, you were on your shit. We're not talking about meeting someone. They already on their build a bear shit. You get what I'm saying? It's a difference. You get yeah, what you're saying? Like, but... there's a lot of builder bears out here. Be like, you meet someone, they already don't have nothing. And it's like, well, when did you have something? A couple of years ago. Then what the? You have to see people's thought process. Meaning, well, I made this sacrifice for this, and now you asked out? No, you, you, that's how you set yourself up for, for, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You set yourself up. You just set yourself up for <laughs> unhappiness. And guess what? That person ain't going to be around because they already made bad decisions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't know. Y'all gotta y'all gotta be careful in these streets. And if you in Atlanta, be very careful. Be very careful because these motherfuckers lie. And, and, and Atlanta is too small to be it's lying. Like so yeah. Like, so people, you not gonna know where they people, really from. People do move here to start start fresh, start anew. So you gotta figure out, hey, don't be afraid to ask what happened. Why did you move here? You are know, you close to your family? Are you yep, are you close Do you to have your friends family? down here? Yeah. Do, what do you, you have to ask those questions, like, because at the end of the day, only person that's going to look out for you is you. How many times they be like, I love you, I'm there for you, I care for you, getting kind words, actions, actions, oh, actions, Oh, that is actions. another love language, too, the love language of um, getting complimented. Yeah. So that is another love language, too, sorry, like, I just thought about that. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, so I just feel like it really depends on the situation, but you just have to ask those questions. Don't don't be afraid. Like with me, I was dating people and I was telling them my expectations. You know, you either like and they it still or you, and they still thought they want to you, though. They, they, that's true. Like even with the whole baby thing, it was one girl that was actually, um, actually you know had a kid already. You try to make you stepmom, wasn't it? I mean, I have no. I I just wanted my own. I have a problem with it. So she was she you said she stopped herself. I'm trying to get her on the right path, y'all. Just trying to cause she has she you can't you you hesitated. You do have an issue because then you won't you won't have they, it won't be no you you time, it'll be three times. All the time. Especially they ain't they not from here and they ain't got no well, babysitter. Hell no. Y'all, I'm still working on her, okay? I'm still working on her. Well, I don't have to worry about those issues because she don't got no kids. Sorry. If y'all had kids and Brianna didn't talk to y'all, that was the reason. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. It's true. <laughs> It, everybody I know love kids and kids love me yeah you love kids true. but you have to think about you would never be number one in that person's life it's not true baby if the person loved you like you you the thing is you accept them as one you who have you and this, who did you did you i don't have kids i know but what i'm saying is if you had a child i would accept i would accept y'all as one you and, and you probably wouldn't be number one had, though that's fine the, the kid mm -hmm. will be both of our number ones and that's I'm just selfish. what it is i'm selfish with my time Y'all, I'm still working on her. She said, don't let her fool you. She like her quality time. Imagine I do like my quality time, but at the same time, if there's a baby there, like that's that's just what it is. You know, if you had a baby already. If I had a baby, which I don't, that's why I chose you because you didn't have no kids. I'm getting that. And guess what? Oh, that's, the, that's the only reason? Because I had no kids? That was, not, that was number two. <laughs> First, you fine. Then number two, you got any kids? Whoo, thank God. Whoa. I thought I was supposed to have my shit together. That was number three. You know, I, I could, I still was going to take care of you. I cannot. Oh, you still going to take care of me? Y'all, I cannot make this up. We're like, going to wrap this up crazy. because I'm a, I'm going to fight her. <laughs> <laughs> we finna going to fight, honestly. Mm -hmm. But no, I'm going to let her go. And we're going to post this. Y'all, uh, make sure that y'all subscribe. Um, let us know if you take, uh, if you have taken the love language 
test. Put it down below. Put, put some hearts down below. Let, let us know what y'all love languages are. What do you, what, do y'all agree with what she's saying about the whole, like, kids thing? That, you know, dating somebody who already has children. And knowing the dynamic you that and, you probably won't be. you never, want. Yeah. Be realistic on things that you want, like, when you are thinking right. about them. Yeah, and just other things we talked about in the video, you know, being used in relationships or, you know, how you, how did, how did you guys, you know, meet your significant other? You know, yeah, so that's yeah. it. Y'all know what? We finna like, be comment, up. subscribe, y'all. Please subscribe. Don't just watch the videos. Come that's on. what y'all doing. Y'all just watching these damn like videos and not subscribing. Subscribe, y'all. Please. Come on. Don't forget to hit that notification bell right up top yeah. so y'all know when we post in the video. That's right. You good? Yeah. All right. Kia and Brian out. Ah. <laughs>